Hey, how's it going everyone? Michael back with another Microsoft Teams tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch your input and output device on Teams. So this occur, an issue can occur when you're joining a meeting or you can't hear any audio or your mic's not picking it up. You might have the wrong audio devices hooked up in your settings. I've seen this happen to a few users, so I'm going to show you how to switch that. So in the Teams application, you wanna click on the triple dot in the top right corner, click on settings. Now we're looking for the device tab on the left hand side. So it will show your audio devices. So currently I have two audio devices set up for my computer. One's a headset, one's my microphone that also does have a speaker on it. So if I set it to my Yeti stereo microphone, it's automatically gonna switch the speaker and microphone to the Yeti. If I switch it back to the Arctic 7 chat, which is my headset, it'll switch the speaker and the microphone to my headset. So the speaker is your output device and the microphone is an input device because you're inputting audio and it's outputting audio for the speaker. If we want to have different input and output devices, we can do that. So for the speaker, let's say I wanted to set it so the audio comes out of my monitor. I can set it to one of my monitor devices or I can set it, if I want to come on my headset, I can set it to the headset device. So if I want to set it to my monitor, I can just do this. And if I wanted to set my microphone to a different microphone, I can set it to my Yeti, which is this microphone right here. If I wanted to wear my headset, I could set it to the headset microphone. But sometimes it will just be your default laptop if you have nothing hooked up. But once you hook up your headset, um, your audio devices should appear. If it doesn't appear, um, try using the headset on another computer and make sure that it actually does work on a computer. And if it does do that, then try to replug it into your laptop or work device. And if that doesn't work, you can try always contacting IT and um, restarting your uh, work computer. So some other settings while I'm in here, uh, you can switch your noise suppression. Uh, if you got background noise like fans, computer fans are kind of loud, or you got a ceiling fan, you want to set this to high because it will actually block out that frequency or that audio sound from coming in. Most of the time, you'll just keep your mic muted if you're not talking into a Teams um, a meeting. Other things, you can set up your camera. So if you have multiple cameras, you can set up that up here. So that's just a quick little video about how to switch your input and output devices within Microsoft Teams. So if you like this video, go ahead and comment, subscribe, and like the video. And I'll be producing more videos on SharePoint Teams and Power Automate. So I'll catch you in the next one.